This video demonstrates how to assemble Innovation Cabinetry's base cabinet with door and single drawer. Before you begin, ensure you have all the pieces shown here. Retrieve the door hinges and clip on their hinge caps. Then, position the hinges in place on the base door and secure with a drill and prepackaged screws. Attach two adhesive pads to the door's outer corners, then set the door aside. Take the drawer face and position it face down on your workstation with the slotted edge closest to you and place an adhesive pad on each of the door face's corners. Retrieve the drawer sides and use the dovetail joints to attach them to the face, slotted edge face in. Tap gently in place with a rubber mallet. Retrieve the drawer bottom and use the drawer's side slots to slide it into place, then fit the drawer backing so the slotted edge rests on the bottom and the dovetail joints of the sides and the back connect. Use a rubber mallet to ensure the pieces are flush, then secure where all the drawer pieces meet with a nail gun. Reposition the drawer so it lays bottom up on your workstation and align the undermount drawer glides behind the drawer face. Starting on one of the glides, remove the screw from its rightmost corner, then move this piece of the glide counterclockwise by 45 degrees. Secure the front of the glide to the front of the drawer with a drill and prepackaged screws, then reset the glide piece you just moved back into its original position and replace the screw. To complete the glide fitting, use appropriate prepackaged screws to secure it to the bottom of the drawer. Repeat this process on the other undermount drawer glide, then set the drawer aside. Retrieve the bridge boards and remove any protective tape still attached and keep these close to hand. Place the base's sides on your workstation, positioned with the pre-marked and pre-drilled holes face up, the slots to the outside, and the notched corners facing in and across from you. Insert the internal shelf pegs into the holes along the middle of the sides, then tap into place and straighten with a hammer. Retrieve the drawer glide tracks and note the holes here recommended for you to attach these to the base sides. On one of the base sides, pre-drill the holes at the pre-marked spots where the glide track will attach. To secure the glide track, Start from the hole closest to the back, then work from the front of the track backwards and fix the track in place with a drill and prepackaged screws. Repeat this process on the other base side to attach the other glide track. Once finished, remove one of the base sides and position the second base side on your workstation, slotted edge closest to you and notched corner to the upper right. Retrieve the base backing and bottom Ensure any protective tape has been removed from these pieces and fix the base bottom to the far right end of the side with the pre-placed wooden pegs and pre-drilled holes. Gently tap into place with a rubber mallet. Next, slide the base backing into the side slot and push it flush with the bottom, then secure where the bottom and backing meet with a nail gun. Place a corner bracket where the tops of the backing and the side meet then secure in place with a drill and drywall screws. Retrieve the base's other side and fit it on top of the unit with the pre-placed wooden pegs and pre-drilled holes. Fit the bridge beams in place on the sides. These sit on either side of the drawer glide track. Gently tap all pieces into place with a rubber mallet. Then use a nail gun to secure where the topmost side meets the base's bottom, backing, and bridge beams. Next, flip the unit over on your workstation and repeat the process to secure where this side meets the bottom, backing, and bridge beams. Place the second corner bracket opposite the other to join the alternate top section of the backing inside, then secure in place with a drill and prepackaged screws. Once finished, turn the unit upright. 
set the drawer on its face on your workstation. Use the orange gears on the underside glide mounts to adjust them for the optimal position when inserted into the base cabinet. Note from the demonstration which gears move the glide in which direction. Once the glides are set, insert the drawer into the upright base. You may have to open and close the drawer several times to set the glides on their tracks and fit it flush with the rest of the unit. You can use the orange gears to further adjust the drawer position as needed. Now, again position the unit on its side, open end face toward you. Align the door at the front of the unit and set the hinges flush with the side, a distance about the width of a credit card kept between the two pieces. Secure the hinges to the side with a drill and prepackaged screws. Check that the door is properly aligned and closes flush with the unit, then stand it upright. To adjust the door front to back or side to side, remove the hinge caps and use a drill to manipulate the screws until the door is at your desired position. When the hinge caps are replaced, you can also press the lever at the back of the hinges to pop the door on and off. To finish, ensure all protective tape is removed from the base. Then, angle the internal shelf into the unit to rest on the shelf pegs. Congratulations! Your innovation cabinetry base cabinet with door and single drawer is ready to install.